This is Anna, a laboratory research dog. She has done more for humanity than many human beings. Anna was used to develop the first operation to cure blue babies. Here is Michael Shermer, 2412 East Lafayette Avenue, Baltimore. And this is Peggy Curlett, 2635 Purnell Drive. These children were among the early cases to be cured by the blue baby operation. They suffered from a birth defect of the blood vessels near their heart, which prevented them from taking any exercise, even from walking more than a few steps. This procedure was such an important advance in surgery that it created a sensation throughout the world. Over 800 children have now been helped by this operation. Today, thanks to Anna and her kind, this treatment has become a standard procedure. Some 30 years ago, dogs like Anna were used to study diabetes, and it was through this research work that Dr. Banting and Dr. Best discovered insulin, the marvelous chemical that permits diabetic people to live normal lives. Here in Baltimore, in the Huffberger Laboratory of the Sinai Hospital, is the most modern development of the artificial kidney. This instrument has already saved the lives of several people. The principle of the artificial kidney was first conceived in 1913 by the late Dr. John J. Abel of the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. He used dogs exclusively in developing his early model. Here are some dogs that have had artificial bladders constructed within their bodies. They are lively and healthy. Today, two people have survived this operation for the treatment of cancer of the bladder. Until medical research with dogs had shown that this operation was possible, no doctor would have been justified in performing it on a living person. The dogs that are used for medical research in Baltimore institutions receive the best of care. Only those institutions approved by the Commissioner of Health are allowed to obtain dogs from the city town for research work. The dogs live in comfortable quarters and often become the pets of the laboratory workers. Many of them never undergo any surgical operation. Those that are operated upon receive care comparable to that given to patients. These laboratories have received approximately 900 dogs in the past eight months from the city pound. Over 8,000 dogs, however, were destroyed uselessly at the city pound during the same period of time. Is 10% of those dogs doomed to die? Too great a price to pay for your health and happiness? Join with your doctor in this fight. Help him to help you, your children, and the future generations to come. <laughs>